Welcome to my Caden Live basic video editing tutorial. I should be using version 16.12.1. To import a video into Caden Live, you have a couple of options. Just below where it says Project Bin, you can left click on Add Clip and then navigate to the folder your videos is stored in. And then if you hold down Control and left click on each video you can select them and then left click OK and that's one way to bring your video clips into the um, video editor or alternatively as I prefer to do normally go into my file browser then basically open up the file where uh, my videos are stored and again hold down control and select the videos and drag them into the project bin. OK. Now if you I'm just going to move this pointer or this slider here so I've got the uh, top track here showing. Now if um, place your pointer over one of the clips hold down your left mouse button move your mouse and drag the clip into your timeline and then again hold down your left mouse button and drag it over so it comes to a stop right at the beginning make sure that project monitor is selected by left clicking on it and then if you place your pointer just above the timeline the little arrow you should say position should flash up when you're uh, near it and at present is uh, zero then hold down your left mouse button you can drag your mouse to move this position marker as you can see it's sticking now this can be a few there can be a few reasons why this is happening um, and one of the reasons is that you haven't set up the um, editor to match the profile of the video that you're working with. Now to do this, go to the top of the screen and left click on settings. Then left click configure Caden Live. Left click on project defaults. And make sure that your resolution matches the resolution of the video that you're working with. Now at present I've got full HD uh, 1080 Now the videos I'm working with are 4K so this clearly isn't correct so I'm going to left click on the little arrow here and then I'm going to left click 4K UHD or ultra high definition also the frame rate is wrong so I'm going to change it from 50 to 25 And that should sort out one of the problems. Now the other problem is that your video um, editor is trying to work with uh, clips that are in full definition and, and most video editors won't do that unless you've got a supercomputer. Now the way to get around this problem is left click next to the proxy clips. There's a little box where it says next to where it says proxy clips. Left click on it. Now you don't have to fill these out, just leave them blank. Now what this does is it creates a duplicate copy but in much lower definition um, than your, uh, well in this instance is 4K videos that I'm working with. It won't affect the final outcome, you know, just there to um, edit and then it relates back to your full definition videos so you'll still end up with full 4K or high definition videos once you've finished. So once you've left clicked in the proxy box, make sure that your um, resolution matches your video and your frame rate is the same. Left click on apply, then left click OK. Now you might find you have to close this down to go to um, restart again. Um, it doesn't. Al this doesn't always work when you change it in um, as I've got it right now. So I'm just going to quickly close this down and then I'm going to just, um, where it says save changes to documents, I'm going to left click on no. 
then I'm going to go back into the video editor again <coughs> and as I did before I'm going to just select the three videos by holding down control using my left mouse button and then dragging them into this project bin again Now if I right click on each of these clips in the project bin, I should be able to put a tick in the box next to where it says proxy clip. Okay. Now as I did before, I hold down my left mouse button and drag a clip into this box and then drag it right up to the so it matches up with the start. I'm going to left click on the little arrow to the top of the timeline and as you can see now this isn't sticking. Incidentally if you're um if you want to move your uh position marker much more slowly would you pointer still above the um, the clip you can roll your mouse button and that will move it very very slowly backwards and forwards okay now that's working fine what I do is I'll go to the beginning again by dragging the marker over and press play just to see what I got and I chose this one particularly because it's a uh, pretty ropey Right, so I know I want to cut this video about there. So again, I'll just run it through quickly by dragging the uh, position marker. So I think I'll go with that bit there. Right, okay. Now I want to cut this video. Now you can either left click on the little scissors just beneath the effects button, where it says razor tool, or simply just press X on your keyboard now place your marker or your um, cursor or pointer over the point where you want to cut and left click now you need to be able to select now you can again you can use the select tool beneath the transition effects um, tabs or simply press S now I'm going to left click on this first section of video that I want to remove then I'm going to right click and then left click delete selected item now if at any point you make a mistake simply hold down control followed by Z and you can do this a few times to backtrack to um, positions you want to go back to anyway I'm going to right click here and then left click again to remove this and I'm going to just slam this back up to the beginning again by holding down my left mouse button and moving my mouse now again I want to see what I've got here so I don't know blah 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 there she goes cha 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 and she's off right okay so I'm going to cut it about here so again I can either select this scissors or I can press X on my keyboard move my little scissors that are in line with my position marker and left click and then press S for select or this little button here and then right click and left click delete selected item and you've now got a cut clip okay Go back up into your project bin, left click on the clip and then drag it in again. Now you can either drag this along this pointer here or this marker to have a look at what you've got or alternatively play. Entirely up to you. So I don't know, we'll cut it here. 
again I'm going to press X and then line my scissors up to the point I want to cut it press S and then select the bit I want to remove right click left click delete selected item and slam it back up to the beginning up to the edge of the first clip and I'll move this over I don't know this is just an example I'll cut it here so I'll press X or select this scissors cut button line it up cut S to select it's already selected right click left click delete, delete selected item and finally I'll bring another video in hold down my left mouse button and drag it in and scroll through it or you can press play up here and because I'm not really too fussed how this turns out I'll drag it from there or cut it from there press X line it up left click S to select left click to select that portion you want to cut out right click and left click delete selected item drag this clip over a um, couple of things to go through yes you can cut in between so I could cut a section out of this clip if I wanted to so raise the tool or press X cut it there drag this over and I'll cut it there press S again select this section right click and delete selected item and as I said before now I've got this cut here as I've said before if you hold down control followed by Z I can actually put this back and remove the cuts if I wanted to just by pressing control Z um, and that's basically the order is if you just want to do basic video editing yes you can put in transitions and effects and that which I may do a video for later on I don't generally like them you don't see them used much in the film industry or on TV I prefer to just go from one clip to another but as I said I might do one later on um, what else is there you can go through that's it really that, there isn't much else to video editing you know make sure your settings are set up use this proxy um, option and uh, you should be able to come up with something half decent okay um, you've got some extra timelines you can add audio at the bottom here but um, the point of this video was to or this tutorial was to sort out how to actually edit a clip so I won't go into that um, and that's about it really so to finalize your video look for the button that says render left click on it and then look for the video format you want to use now they're not all here um, depending on which Linux setup you got you won't be able to use all of them but for my point purpose everything's here that I need to use so I'm gonna select or left click on ultra high definition and I'll go mp4 also I want to make sure the quality is as best as I can possibly get so where the quality slider is I'm gonna left click on it and whack it right up to full and all I need to do now is left click render to file oh actually another thing you might need to work out is where you want to save it to um, output file left click on the folder and navigate to the folder you want to save your uh, video in so I want to save it in my video folder I'll just give it a title I don't know. I don't know, I spelled that wrong. I'll call it DR1, that'll do for this. Open, and then again, like I said, left click render to file. And you'll come up with this. And it will take a while. Just have to wait for it to finish. You'll get a little 
notification comes up to the top right of the screen when it's finished. Um, occasionally, it will stick with a few. It'll seem to stick with a few seconds or minutes at the end. It, it, it does that sometimes. Don't worry if it's not moving. It will get there eventually, and you'll just have to wait. It'll, the notification will come up and tell you when it's finished. And that's all there is to it, really. Um, Hopefully that's helped somebody. Uh, thank you for watching. Cheers.